hi this is Mambo Sandy and today I have a little a bit of an interesting video um, it's about energy and beauty beauty and energy okay and how to protect yourself um, from negative energy from others and going to the hair salon barbershop nail salon okay so let's roll into it um we all like to sometimes go to the hair salon long time ago um as my grandmother would say we go to the beauty parlor they always had one as she called it beautician now we say hairstylist that they stuck with they stuck with that person for a while now i'm starting to understand why okay not just because of the hairstyle that they did but because you kind of understood the person you started to get to know the person and that was a very important thing okay um now you're probably saying mama sandy what does that have to what i don't get you okay so we all know that energy can transfer itself okay positive or negative so when you go to a hair salon and you're going to get your hair done you have to be aware that when you're changing from stylist to stylist to stylist to stylist some people do this because of time you know guys sometimes you might keep one barber sometimes you don't sometimes you're like whoever's open whoever's good let's roll all right so do you know the mood that that person is in not really and nowadays you know people are taught be professional if it's you know if you had someone die in your family or whatever's going on you're supposed to wear a fake smile and give good customer service so what happens is you have a bunch of people at work that could have tragic things that have happened to them but they have to be to work and they can't take off or whatever the case may be so what happens is basically the person can end up transferring negative energy here to your crown chakra okay that is a serious thing those that believe in that know about chakras they understand me my african traditions you definitely understand me as well the top of your head is an important thing not just with just not just you know when you're getting like someone doing something spiritual to you but even mundane things can also leave an energy pattern okay so one way negative energy can be transferred over to you believe it or not it's my hairbrush and like mom was saying you are crazy nope no i'm not okay we all know that when you clean out your own hairbrush okay there's still usually little traces of hairs left in there all right imagine what happens when you go to a hair salon nine times out of ten i'm quite sure the hair stylist she changes her brush I mean she washes the brush but I'm quite sure she's not spiritually cleansing the brush making sure that every little hair is out of there okay and I'm not talking about just the wig brush I'm talking about the the board hairs brush you know that you brush the little baby hairs down with which I needed to do <laughs> but um yeah so that can be left over that energy can be left over in that brush and now it's on you okay same thing with combs anything that's used on your head my best advice bring your own brush bring your own wig brush bring the things that are going to touch your hair it's an investment in yourself okay now next thing is that person in a good mood I have a little quick story one day um long ago now i knew what now i know what happened but um i used to go get my hair done more more often than i do now okay i was younger and i was really into like you know getting my hair done and all the stuff like that well one day i went to the hair this hair stylist and because my stylist wasn't in so you know she did my hair I was in a good mood when I came in, but when I left out, I just felt so sad, and I just, I, I didn't know where, like, I was upset, like, I, like, it just came over me, 
Well, right next to the hair salon was a restaurant, okay? It was like a little Jamaican spot. And um, a hairstylist that was on her way in to take care of a client who knew I was, you know, knew I was came in the shop. Said, did you, did you hear what happened? And I'm like, no, what happened? She was like, you know, so and so lost her mom this morning. I'm like, okay, all right. So she found that out while she was at work, you know. And I guess you know she wanted to finish her day or whatever the case may be. But the point is, she was sad. And me being empathic, I picked up. I picked up on it. And I didn't even know at that time. I didn't even, you know, like it was like later on in life. I started putting two and two together. And then I understood why I had that bad day, you know, for the rest of the day and why I felt so sad, you know. But at that time, I didn't. But it was something that I always remembered. Okay. So when I started putting two and two together, okay. The next thing is, when you go to nail salons, oh, so a way, let me back up, let me backtrack. So a way to protect yourself from that is you can protect yourself before you go, okay? Maybe you can wear a protective amulet or you can do some hand passes or something of that nature. Afterwards, you know, you can um, also do some hand passes, you know? Um smudge yourself bring some florida with you you know whatever it is and you don't want to mess up your do or whatever but you can just go over yourself okay you know these are ways that you can protect yourself and to keep that negative energy from transferring itself and attaching itself to you right next nail file you like mom was saying why I bring my own nail file with me to work. I mean to work. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> I say to work, but I did used to work in a nail salon. I bring my own nail file to the nail salon because you have to think about this. Nail salons should change that nail file with every client, but they don't because most people don't say anything. Okay, you have to think about it too. People that sat down there, you don't know what they got. You don't know anything about the person and now it's being used on your nails. Now some nail salons, they do, okay, have a little box for you. If you're a regular customer or even sometimes you're not a regular customer, they will just change it. But those that, but just to be on the safe side, you know if you're getting acrylics done, to bring a thicker file, the smoothing file, you know the routine, ladies. It's just best you bring your own. Guys, if you get, you know, a manicure, bring your own tools too. Afterwards, you know, same thing. You can bring yourself a little Florida water. Do what you got to do. Cleanse yourself off because energy can transfer itself. It can just transfer itself that's just how it is okay now moving along we all sometimes ladies we like to go to the hair braiding shop okay and we get the hair they braid our hair be a human hair be a synthetic hair no not even synthetic I'm lying about synthetic Okay, human hair. If you're getting a weave or whatever it is, and it's human, and it was on somebody else's head, take the time to smudge it up because if that you don't know what kind of life that person had, especially if it's coming from India or China. Some of these ladies they have had a hard life, and we already know how in the domestic life how some of them are treated. Not that great. Now you're going to attach that to your head. The thing you should do if you can and you're skillful, you can wash it. 
you know, take a little salt water, maybe spray it down. Doesn't have to soak it, but you can spray it down if you don't want to do that. You can smudge it, ask for negative energy to be released from the hair, okay? But you need to do something to, you know, release any negative energy that could be there because that's going to be attached to you for a while and then it becomes yours if you want to say okay then your DNA is on there all right so you want to do something to alleviate that guys when you go to the barbershop okay you also have to be careful bring your own hairbrush why same thing you know I see the barbers they making sure that you know your fade is tight and it's nice and smooth and all that and how many people has he used that brush on bring your own brush Just bring your own brush you know you can leave it in your car wrap it up have it in a bag or you know your little stuff and go in there and do what you do still can get your hair cut but now you don't have to worry about other people's hair follicles and DNA and you know energy being left on you okay and still guys you know at one time bay rum and florida water actually were a staple in some barbershops i know bay rum used to be because the barbers used to use that all the time and bay rum can get rid of negative energy as well okay definitely florida water okay after you get your little cut you don't have to put it directly on your head okay or you know you can just do your little hand passes and get that negative energy off of you because you don't know what kind of mood your barber was in you don't know people have to put on acts nowadays because they got to do what they got to do to make a living okay so you can do it when you get in your car or when you get outside do what you do all right so um my next topic is when you go and get a pedicure ladies I'm gonna tell you you should carry some tea tree oil with you tea tree oil or peppermint oil tea tree oil definitely can remove any type of germs that could be lingering about in that foot basin okay tea tree oil you can use a little bit of it after you know like once they they do your nails just before or after they get ready to um put the polish on or however they do it you know cuticle put that tea tree oil on there have them you can either just have them put a couple drops in the basin okay your foot feet are going to be in this is a good practice okay because you don't need any issues all right you just don't you don't know how much things people sometimes can catch from a foot basin all right so you want to be aware of that and that tea tree oil can help i never forget um one day um i um was in the nail salon and i was getting my a pedicure done and the lady accidentally pinched the ladies you know because some of them be working so fast okay trying to get you in and out of there she ended up drawing blood from the woman and you know, they really didn't have, they supposed to, but they really didn't have what she needed there. So, you know, I told the lady, give me a cotton ball. I gave her the cotton ball. She put some, it did sting, you know, but it was able, you can look this up, tea tree oil can stop MRSA, okay? It can, yeah, it's one of the natural things that can actually help to prevent MRSA. All right, so I told her, I said, here, you know, put this on there. You know wash it out clean it out then put a little more on there and you know she did but teacher oil is something you should always carry in your bag all right well this is mambo sandy and i hope this video was informative you know i just don't want you know people walking around out there getting sick people getting you know having spiritual issues one minute you're having a good day and next minute you're not or you're having a bad week or a month because you done picked up some negative energy okay that you didn't have to so remember invest in yourself i always say invest in yourself bring your own you know beauty tools with you and take care of yourselves 
All right, this is Mambo Sandy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.